What's going on everybody? It's your man Overtime out here We're in Indiana, but right now we're in our garage. A little different niche today. Figured might as well while I'm doing it, film it. Just in case anybody else out there is trying to do the same thing. Now, today, nothing hunting related. It's outdoors related though. Um, not fishing related, but my wife wanna start a garden. Now, with the garden, had had the right soil, we got to till the soil, just fertilize and all that extra stuff in the dirt. But instead, she just want to do flower beds. So, I'm going to show you all today how to make two flower beds, eight by four. Pretty simple. Now, I already did most of the leg work last night cutting the boards, but we're going to go ahead and flip this camera around in a second and show you some of the boards, the equipment you're going to need. And then we'll go from there. List of things we need to get this project going. So, first off, to start, we took what was it? 12, 12, two by sixes, 12 feet long, and we cut them down in the eight by four. So now, once I cut my eight foot piece, the boards aren't usually exact dimensions, so I leave us with a little bit left, measure it out, and you get four, or so I'm worth four. But then also, the inside bracing, we're using four by fours. We'll show you how we use those here in a little bit to keep it solid. Take the four foot pieces on the outside, four foot pieces on the other outside for the walls. We're gonna hit impact drill. We go ahead and push through it. Now, cutting this to make it easier, I had a circle saw. I went on and picked up a miter saw, made it so much easier to just pop it up, put the board underneath, cut it down, slide the next one in, vice versa. A square, a tape measure. Here's how I do my pen. An ink pen to make your marks for your cuts. Gotta have that. Some safety goggles and some gloves. Now, I said, it's pretty much repetitive. Zip, 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 taking time, but it was pretty easy. Uh, now, to fasten the boards, we're gonna use three inch construction screws. Then inside on the walls, just to add some stability when we put the dirt and everything to keep everything from or pushing out, we got these braces here. So, and also we're gonna use these screws to take the braces to fasten these boards together so it sink in tight and get a nice solid form. Now, we got three of the two by sixes on top and the four by four underneath. Now, if this is the one side, and we're done with this. We'll flip it over to the side, or we do this, then we do another set, stand them up, brace the four by fours here between, flip it over, and do the same thing, vice versa. Now, all right, sorry, I did the leg work, I already did the cutting, got it laid out, so now I'm gonna go ahead and open up these construction screws, put my bit in my drill, and go ahead and get to work. Now we got two walls for them, outside walls, one there, one there. Now we're gonna take the eight foot pieces, lay them over the top, screw them down for the top. And then we have to flip it over, do the same thing.
You better use all these square footages. <laughs> I won't. I don't want eat nothing from the stone no more. You better grow deer. All right, now we got both the beds put together. I'm gonna take these braces, I'm gonna put them right here on the wall, tighten these boards up, and then be done. We can put a bottom on, but my wife's not sure if she wanna put a bottom on or not, so the majority of the work will be done, put it that way. And there we go, sturdy beds. Now, I put the top one, I thought I put the top one a little bit angled up and the bottom angled down. So if there's any space in between, it is stretch the, these up and pull the boards down and the rest pull it together. And we got a solid flat bed ready to go. But, all right guys, that's gonna wrap up this Pretty simple task, just tedious, time consuming. But uh, cut your wood first, or measure first, measure 10 times, cut once, lay it out, screw it together, flip it. Start with the four foot boards, then you can stack it on the side where you can reach it. I messed up the first time, I did the first one was an eight foot, and I realized that when it was too late. But we made it work. But all right guys, there you go. Something else outside of my repertoire. Outside something different, but uh, it was fun. I like doing DIY hands-on stuff and we got it done So now hopefully the wife is happy We get these out in the yard or in the back wherever she wants where the sun gonna hit the most Get some dirt put in here and uh, get these vegetables growing this year. All right guys with that being said We appreciate you all appreciate you as always. Thank you guys for tuning in um, Make sure you check out the rest of the videos hit that like button drop a comment Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever it is. And most importantly, make sure you hit that subscribe button and head over to Instagram and give us a follow up outdoors with overtime. And how at the personal page to Corey A underscore MMA. That's you know where I'm the light heavyweight champion of the world. That's my fight page. <laughs> Hi right, guys. I don't know if I have your old saying it. But uh alright, with that being said, we're gonna sign as always with love, peace, Afro Grease. Peace.